welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. I've already gotten a little bit going. Um, I'm making a dead bird dish. I chopped up some mushrooms and washed them off. I'm going to add some onions to that right now. So I'm just going to chop that up and throw that in with these mushrooms. And I got a pan back here with some olive oil in it. And again, what I'm doing is I'm just breaking my onion up so that it cooks easier and they're not cooked in big slices together. You can use any type of oil. I personally use mainly olive oil, but currently I am cooking in organic coconut oil. So it already has a good amount in there. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit so that coconut oil will melt in there pretty fast. And it's already almost melted. And I'm just using a bag of Stater Brothers Boneless Chicken Breast Tenderloins. You can do this with any kind of chicken. Um, as you all know, we are on a budget right now, so this is pretty inexpensive. So, and you can hear it sizzling away. So, just add, and I like to make a whole bag all at once, so we have leftovers. Megan likes to chop it up when it's cold and put it in her salad. So I cook the whole bag when I make this. And there's still a little bit left, so that'll go in after this batch is done. And then again, I always use my garlic powder because everybody in this family likes garlic. Keeps the vampires away. And onion powder, because we all love onions in this house as well. So I sprinkle a good amount of onions and garlic powder on them. And then just for some color, basil. And it gives it some nice taste to it also. Cook it on low to medium heat. Cover it up and just let it cook for a while. When it's brownish on one side, I flip it over, let it brown on that side, then I flip it back over. I don't let it, let it cook too long on one side so this way it does not burn. So right now, I am just going to chop up my, un my carrots and add them to my colander here. So I will do that and I will get back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I cut up the carrots that we had left over and added them in there. And we had some butternut squash left over from the other night. So I am going to cut those up into little chunks and throw them into the mix as well. Now the butternut squash is all mixed up. I'll add that into here. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to add in here, most of you have seen how I cook my asparagus um, on the baking sheet in the oven. I'm now going to cook my asparagus on top of the stove in with this mixture. So you're just going to chop the stems off of your asparagus. And then what you're going to do with these I know people don't usually like to eat these parts, but they're healthy for you. So I'm just going to chop them up and add them into the mix as well. Okay, so here's a mixture of my mushrooms, onions, carrots, uh, butternut squash, and asparagus. And that's all ready to go. I turned the pan on for the oil to heat up a little bit. So while that's heating up, which is already heated up, so I'm going to turn it down a little because it was on high. While that's getting set, what I'm going to do is 
check on the chicken and see if it's ready to be have its first turn. And it does look like it's ready for its first turn. So I'm just going to turn it all over. Flip. And now I'm just going to cover it again. And I'm going to let it cook some more. Okay, now let's see if I can do this without getting burnt. Stand back! Oh, I hope the pan's big enough. Okay, and then I'm going to put the lid on that. Get in there, mushroom. I'm going to put the lid on that, turn it up to between medium and low, and let that cook a little bit on its own. Okay, so the second batch of chicken is ready to come out, and then the final pieces will go in to be cooked. Excuse me. <laughs> the final pieces will go in to be cooked, and the vegetables are still going. Let's check on the vegetables. Ooh, they're looking good. Keep the lid on them for a little bit longer just because I want them to get soft. And then I will take the lid off and let them brown a little bit. Okay, so here is dinner completely done. There's a big plate of chicken which will serve as leftovers and for Megan and Brian's dinner and salads. And here is the vegetable mixture. Again, it's just a mishmash of leftover vegetables that I didn't use in previous dinners. That, so I just chopped them up and threw them all together. And we'll see how they all taste. Kevin, darling. Yes, dear. It's time for dinner. Okay, service. No, you come dish your own out. Okay, baby. Yep. Taste test for nibbling with the neighbors. Pretty good. Pretty tasty. Chicken? Mm-hmm. As good as the other night? Mm-hmm. And the collaborate, whatever, the mixture of veggies I threw together out of nowhere. Very good. Even the butternut squash? Well, I don't see any butternut squash. There's butternut squash in there. Hey. Take the word for it. I knew he wouldn't know there was butternut squash in there. It's just filler. And that he would like it. <laughs> filler. It's filler. Right, freckles. Right, boomer. <laughs> so, thumbs up for tonight's dinner? Yep. <laughs> one or two? I, I, can't, I gotta hold the camera with one. Okay. <laughs> One or two, two thumbs up for tonight's dinner? Yes, dear. Yay! Well, that concludes another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. I hope you all enjoy.